I'm going to show you how to use Scribematic to save you a lot of time on documentation. So after you make a free account, you go to Recordings. We click Begin a New Outpatient Recording. And you could also do Inpatient or Dictation, but I'm going to show an outpatient. You go to see your patient. I've got a patient here with me, Brandon. I'm going to put some kind of identifier in here for him. And you see, when I go in to see him, I'll click on this microphone right here, and it'll begin recording the encounter. Hey, Brandon, how's it going? Uh, you know, I, I could be a little better if I'm being honest, but, you know. What uh, brings you in to see me today? Well, um, I, I got some pretty rough allergies on uh, Monday, and, uh, I mean, it's been five days now, and I, I've been taking stuff, and it's just not getting any better. Do you usually get allergies? Uh, sometimes I do, um, seasonally, yeah. Huh. Um, what have you been taking for them? Uh, this time around, I've, I've taken a few things. I've, I've taken, um, I took Claritin, and I took some Sudafed, and then also a, um, some generic um, nasal steroid. I can't remember what it's called. Gotcha. Okay, um, I think you've got uh, allergic rhinitis, and I think we're going to put you on some Flonase. Um, have you ever done Flonase before? Uh, I can say that's one I have not tried. So it's a, it's a little nasal spray. You'll squirt it in each nostril um, once a day, and I'd like to see you again in a week if it doesn't help, or in a month if it does and we can talk about progress or other options at that point. Does that work? Yeah, yeah it works for me. So you, you finish the recording, and you see that uh, as we did that recording, it was writing down everything we were saying. Now, if you see any errors at this point in the, in the recording transcription, don't worry, just use this recording transcription to show yourself that it's actually working. Once we finalize the note, It'll do a lot of AI magic and fix a lot of errors in the transcription. So when you hit finalize, uh, you need to select the gender um, and pronouns of the person that you were talking to. Um, you'll go click on uh, subjective or objective and you can click which things you want in your note. So for example, in this note, we could say we want some relevant medications, but what I really want is I'm gonna show a chief complaint history of present illness. We don't want to do the multi-complaint HPI right now. We just want a normal history of present illness because he only came in with one complaint. If you select the multi-complaint HPI, it'll list multiple history of present illnesses, one for each complaint they came in with. Not really any relevant medical history, surgical history that we talked about. Um, we didn't do an exam, we didn't do a procedure. There is an assessment and something of a plan. So what you're going to do is you're going to select what you want to see in your note. You're going to hit submit. It's going to send this to the AI server. It's going to take somewhere between five seconds and two minutes. There it just took a, only a couple of seconds. And you'll get your note in here. So we have uh, chief complaint, allergies, history of present illness. The patient presents with severe allergies that started five days ago. The patient has been taking Claritin, Sudafed, and a generic nasal steroid, but there has been no improvement in symptoms. Patient reports experiencing allergies seasonally in the past. Assessment, allergic rhinitis, exactly what I said. Plan, prescribe flonitis, nasal spray once daily. Follow up in a week if no improvement or in a month if symptoms improve. Um, so I'm going to pretend that this blank uh, document is my EHR. Just hit copy all, paste. And there it is formatted already in the EHR. I can make any changes I want. Uh, say you want to make some changes before you put it in the EHR, you can make some editing changes. Say you want to copy just one specific section, you can copy that one specific section, no problem. Let's say that you don't like how it says right here in the history of present illness that the patient, that their allergy started five days ago. Maybe we want to say that their allergy started a month ago. You use this talk to your note feature and you give it commands to change things in the note. In this note, it says that it he's had these for five days. Um, change the note so that it says he's been experiencing the symptoms for the past month.
And you'll see in the history of present illness, it says instead of the five days ago, it changes it to say the patient presents with severe allergies that started a month ago. Okay, now let's say that we want to regenerate this note. We didn't like, we want to do it again, except this time with uh, past medical history. You just check that box and hit submit, and it'll regenerate the note based on that past medical history. Also, well, a note is generating. I mean, usually it's almost instant, so it's really, really fast. But say it's taking, you know, longer than you want and you want to, you know, go see another patient. You can go back to recordings and you can begin a new patient um, and then come back to this note later. So you see we've got chief complaint allergies. Patient Brandon presents with worsening allergies since Monday. Um, and then it added this past medical history section, which it just says none. We didn't really have any relevant past medical history. But so you could regenerate the note and add in any of these things that you want. One thing that I want to say, so right now we have 3.0 and 2.0. We may in the future change this to say longer to process um, or less. 2.0 is going is gonna to take a little bit longer to process, but it'll end up giving you a little bit longer of a note. In general, we think 3.0 is a little bit more accurate and significantly faster. Next thing that I want to explain is how to use templates. So let's say that I had done an exam, right? Um, in a lot of the other EHRs, in a lot of EHRs, you'll want to pick an exam, you'll pick a template. It'll have a bunch of default things that you've filled out. And so I'm just going to run this while I show you how these templates work. Basically, what this is is when you create a template, is you'll put the different things that you're going to look at in the patient. So for example, general, well-appearing, non-toxic, no acute distress. You just put the general template of what you want your exam to look like. So if you don't say anything or you don't see anything, this is what it's going to put as your template in the note. Uh, so for example, that's my general template, but I can put in, you know, template two. Or let's say I'm a psychiatrist, I'll say psychiatric template um, or psychiatric exam. And I'll say general well appearing, um, mood, good affect. And you can go in, save this note. And you know later, if you want to run this note again, you can pick which exam template you want to use and have that be your default. So you see, we did the, we ran this exam template and all of a sudden you have an exam here in your note um, and it just defaults to exactly what we had said. Now, one of the premier features is this mirror mode. How mirror mode works is you upload a note that you've done previously because maybe, maybe you're not a general practitioner or maybe this is a very niche visit or uh, for example, you're an orthopedic surgeon and you're seeing a follow-up visit for a shoulder problem. A follow-up visit for a shoulder problem is not going to follow this format or this kind of note. And so what we have is you can upload a note. You can upload a note. And so you see I've uploaded a couple here and th these I got from an ear, nose, and throat office with permission. You upload a note. And it's just a completed note that you've done. And once you upload this note, you can try to have Scribematic write its notes in the future based on this kind of note. So I have an ear mass template. You know, this is what I want an ear mass template to look like. Um, if you're an orthopedic surgeon, we have orthopedic surgeons using Scribematic, and they'll make a different note for, you know, shoulder beginning exam, shoulder follow-up exam, and they'll have a template, a mirror template for how they like to do their notes uploaded here for each type of those exams. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. I'm going to regenerate the note using mirror mode. I'm going to use the ear mass template, and it'll redo this note based on the encounter, mirroring the styling that this ENT um, that I got this note from does his ear mass notes. So you can upload a note and have it do a note in that style. Um, so you can see he likes to put his medications here, Claritin, Sudafed, general nasal steroid, name not remembered, allergies. He'll still do a history of present illness, 
the way that he writes it is a little bit um, a little bit different. The systems have not improved. Um, here's his physical exam. He also has a review of systems section. He likes to write his plan in more of a paragraph format than bullet points. And he likes to have a condition discussed with the patient. He likes to have these sections capitalized and shown like this. And so this just does it exactly in the same style of that note that we uploaded. That's a rundown a little bit more in depth than our other videos of how to use Scribematic. Um, one other feature that a lot of doctors like right now is the ability to start and stop recordings. So I'm gonna say this is a test recording and I'm gonna go ahead and start doing this recording and you see I know that it's working because it's uh, putting something like what I'm saying in here. It's, 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 it's transcribing what I'm saying and remember that this transcription doesn't have to be accurate. It'll go over this transcription when you finalize and mix things up, you know, instead of saying the patient thinks he was from China, it says, no, no, he said the patient has stable angina. And so it'll figure that out. Um, but you can pause this recording and then you can go see another patient, start a recording on that patient. And so I'm starting a recording seeing another patient. And then I'll pause that recording, go back and see the other patient again and I'll just keep finishing this recording here and you see it'll it'll keep transcribing and then I can finalize and I can toggle between as many patients as I want. 